All right, everyone. So another machine learning tool, which is running inside the browser, which I'm going to discuss in this video, ml-playground.com. So you can just simply visit ml-playground.com. In uh, earlier videos also, I discuss about one more tool, which is being released by the Google. This is a teachable machine. So if you want to go with this uh, teachable machine, if you want to learn about how you can train your model with this teachable machine, you can always refer to my video. I'll just put the link of this particular video into description. Now in this video, we are going to go a little bit more technical level rather than at a consumer level. And this particular playground will give us a more flexibility to add, create the data, train your model with number of different machine learning algorithm. And at then obviously the inferencing part. All right. So first of all, this is on a ml-playground.com. Now, the moment you open, you will be able to see there is some pop-up up here, like uh, it will just guide you through all those single steps that while creation of complete data science and a machine learning flow, what are the steps you need to take into consideration? So the very first thing is you need to add a data point. Now here adding data points means they are not allowing you to upload your own custom data or anything but this is just to give you an idea that how different algorithm works so the very first task click to add the data points so i'm just going to follow this particular sets of suggestion it will provide to us let me press uh, some data point so if i just disable it or let me just make it next so that i can able to see all right so now you can see because of this pop-up we were not able to see anything but now select the data type there will be a two class color you can choose it so let's say as of now i selected this orange part so that means the moment i click anywhere inside the canvas where i can keep creating data all right so this is about the data for one single class let's say we'll just call it those class as a orange class and then let's just click on this particular purple class now you can see we can even upload this data also i don't know about that thing but uh, now i am able to see this thing because i am also using this tool very first time with you only so let me just draw some data point for this purple class so let's say for purple all right so this way now the next thing is uh, we created a data we need to select the model model in the sense that which particular machine learning classification based algorithm you want to apply to segregate this data. Now, by just looking at this data as all those uh, data points resides in a, I would say in a two dimensional space, we can easily visualize it and we can easily classify the classification boundary that will be something like this. All right. So let's just apply all those uh, machine learning algorithm which has been built inside this uh, JavaScript library like a K nearest neighbor. We have a perceptron support vector machine, artificial neural network and a decision tree. And let's see all of them one by one. So I'm just going to go next. I have already selected my model. Now corresponding to every single different algorithm, there are some hyper tuning parameters are available. Now, as of now, I'm not going to go into detail about how exactly all those uh, ML algorithm works. But as far as this K nearest neighbors are concerned, we need to provide the parameter K. That means how many nearest neighbor point we need to take into consideration. So let's just go ahead with the three only and let me just press next. That means uh, your step number five. So click train for your model training. So let me just press train. All right, and immediately we got output like this is our classification boundary. Now in this case, you can see there is a one point got misclassification happened during this training time. Let's just go for the next step, read and learn. I don't think uh, there is anything afterwards. This is all about a uh, little fun that for different machine learning algorithm, how this decision boundary got created. Now let's just change this parameter. Let me just make it just one and let's just make train. All right. And because of one, I think uh, it is giving even better result. So you can see such a kind of non-linear boundary and it is able to segregate or I would say to classify data exactly into a proper class. 
with this k is equal to 1. Let's just try k is equal to 2. Still not k is equal to 2 is not giving good accuracy. With 3 we just tried it. Let's just make it 5 and let's just train it again. Alright, so with 5 also almost all data points classified correctly at least during the training time. So this is the story about k nearest neighbor. Uh, let's talk about the another algorithm. Let's say perceptron. So perceptron is a you can say a very starting point of neural network based advanced or a deep learning based algorithm. So perceptron is a first fundamental hello world of artificial neural network. Let's just apply this perceptron. Now as far as perceptrons are concerned while training there is only one hyperparameter we need to tune like a for how many iteration you want to run this algorithm to find those descent boundary. Uh, let's just continue with the 20. All right, and I guess it has successfully correctly identified all those data points while training. So perceptron also work fine. Now in our case, you can see all those data points I have selected in a such a way that even a linear boundary also can classify all data points correctly. I mean, those data points are not mixed up or jumbled up into one another class. Let me just uh, make it with just five trace and let's see. Oops, with five trace and there are three data points which got misclassified. So that is like uh, this three orange point got classified into a purple boundary. All right, so that is about the perceptron. Let's see about the support vector machine. So in support vector machine, we have a total two hyperparameters. So one is C and one is the RBF kernel. So what I'm going to do let me just add few more data points. So I have just selected this orange part. Let me just make orange little more data point here. And let's see such a kind of highly nonlinear boundary. Is it able to identify or not? Let me just train it without this RBF kernel specifically for support vector machine. Oops, not there are two data points which got misclassified into a uh, orange zone or there is a one orange data point which got classified into purple zone. So there are total three misclassification happen. Now I'm going to select this RBF kernel and with this RBF kernel, let's try with still not, I guess. Let me just change C to five rather than 10. Not good results. Let me just make it 20. Yeah, still little better. Let me just make it 50. Yeah, so almost uh, classified all points correctly and very highly non-linear boundary it has created. Let me just make it 100. Yeah, so correct, correct, correctly classified all those data points. Now corresponding to all those individual machine learning algorithm, what are the different hyperparameters are available? You can always go down and there is a deep mathematics and what are the intuition behind each individual hyperparameter they have given the description about it. Yeah, let's go with the our last two like artificial neural network. So here they are providing a very good intuition behind that what are the our input, how many hidden layers, how many output layers you want to create and everything. So what I'm going to do input definitely it will remain two. Let's just keep all those uh, remaining hyperparameter like a uh, max epoch and we have a learning rate, max error rate. Let's just keep it as it is. And we have a uh, three more uh, uh, I mean neuron in a second hidden layer and at the end we have a last one. So I'm not going to touch anything. I'm not going to add any hidden layer or any neuron in any layer. Let's just go ahead and train it. So there are 500 epochs. So it took a little bit amount of time, but at a first shot only we got our non-linear classification boundary. And now what I'm going to do, let me select uh, some of them. Oops. Let me remove this one layer. I don't think yeah, so now we have just one hidden layer and let's just try to find whether it is able to identify those uh, non-linear boundary or not with this 500 epoch. Yeah, correct, correctly classified. Let me just click somewhere and let's just make things little more complex. Yeah, correctly classified. So neural network are one of the best uh, representation of any kind of highly non-linear, even hyper dimensional space boundary. You can add a more layer also. Let me just remove some hidden layer and let's just try it once. Yeah, correctly classified. So this is also sufficient. Now, suppose if you just try to remove this hidden layer, let me just remove it. 
yeah i guess it got removed let me just train it and you can see now we don't have a hidden layer so obviously it will be able to identify only linear boundary so with this linear boundary obviously our data is a non-linearly situated in a two-dimensional space so definitely it won't be able to i mean correctly classified with this linear boundary all those data point correctly all right so that is about the artificial neural network and another one very interesting one but that will be a very much overfitting kind of phenomena generally happens in a dysentery so in dysentery there is a one hyperparameter they are asking like a max tree depth that means while creation of this dysentery what is the maximum depth you want for that creation if that uh, depth will go even beyond phi it will just cut down those three so let's just continue with the phi and let's see what happens yeah so almost so you can see the classification boundaries are like a very much binary classification it just cuts this uh, space into two half it may not be i mean equal proportion but it will be in half again it will cut down those uh, remaining space into another two half again into two half so this way it just created those such a kind of highly stepwise lean non-linear boundary i would say and if you want to go into detail about how exactly this design tree works the concept behind those entropy in guinea guinea index i would say and based on that it will try to create those design tree out of our data now suppose if i just make it like 10 yeah so you can see this is like a very weird thing actually i mean for this entry it's like a stepwise continuous non-linear boundary it will create it all right so obviously as a starter if you are just learning about all those machine learning algorithm it is a very good place to explain yourself that how exactly those design boundary got created for different machine learning algorithm and how those uh, different hyperparameter affects those design boundary so that is the main learning point here that uh, four fundamental or i would say four yeah four fundamental machine learning classification based algorithm how they behave how their design boundary got created based on the type of data so we try to give the data in a very different different ways like first i just created a linear data then little bit non-linearity and at the end this was like a very much highly non-linear let me add few more here in a hidden layer and i guess it will work yeah so you can see the moment we add a hidden layer in artificial neural network it just works fine and created a such a beautiful nice non-linear boundary to separate out our orange class with the purple class all right so that is all about the machine learning playground i hope you enjoy listening this video and see you into next video with some more cool stuff related to python data science and machine learning so till that time please leave a comment if you don't get anything in a machine learning and if you want to know more about the machine learning you can just simply write into comment that what specific video I should create on a machine learning data science world. And please like this video and subscribe my channel and share this video. See you into next video.